I really love this one because it's, it's painted from a photograph that I took, I don't know how many years ago. It's quite an ancient view of, of, of the Battersea Power Station. I'm always photographing from a car if I'm being driven anywhere. I've got the camera and I love to see people and catch people. Oh, this one, come and check this one. This explains exactly what I mean, going along, once again, along the embankment. River Thames there, this young couple, I've called it first love, you don't know what the story is, but I imagine that, you know, he's plucked up the courage to walk home with her from school. Actually, it's got a shadow on it, so it'd be better revealed if, you, if I tilt it back like that, so you see the brilliance of the silhouettes of these two. But I just love that. that. That started off as a bit of grey and a bit of sort of dirty green and an image of the two couples and then this grey bit along there. And then when that was dry, then I started putting in these dashes of light coming through this tree and, and those bits of brilliant yellow, greeny colour with the sun hitting those leaves. And the very last thing I put in were these fence posts and nearly drove me mad. <laughs> nah, what a lovely, lovely feeling. I love getting the London scene and seeing all the different images of it. I mean, this one over here, check this. People say to me, why would you paint a bunch of guys sitting derelict under, under some scaffolding? And, and the thing is that the whole subject matter is it's just a brilliant picture to me. It, it, all the scaffolding poles point to the subject and the, the importance of this guy who's obviously he's had a few to drink and the, the guys, he's advising him about what to do. This guy's sitting there with his head in his hands and this fella's listening and they, they all look a bit derelict and down and out. I just love all the little bits and pieces that, that make up the painting. Now this is another case in point, you see that this is, they're not sure where to hang this, they've just taken it down and tried that one in its place, but I just love that. It's like he runs, she runs, and, and this lady's saying, I walk. I love it. But I love those arrows and people say, why would you put that in? Why wouldn't you paint that out, put it somewhere else? But it's part of the street furniture of London and it just all adds up to a really brilliant sort of composition, I think. And I, I think my attitude conveys itself to the people who come and look at it and they see, see London through my eyes, as it were.